So like I said, the main goal today was to get a good run on the DVD. So you have a reference to look at when you go home. And yeah, you're going to have to work on this for your body to really get comfortable and not have to think too hard. Okay, but this is doable. I mean, we physically worked on your approach for less than a half an hour. We got what we wanted. And we're fighting a couple of years of muscle memory. Okay. <laughs> so this is the first one we redid. Let's compare to the original shot so you can see what we did in your stance. And just by changing your stance helped. Because now with the elbow back and the ball down, you can incorporate that out motion. Watch on step two on the left. No motion on one. Let's just move the one on the left first. And then watch. Out on two. Elbows at the front of the side. The ball's right about waist high. That's a good push away. Okay. This one here, watch on step two. Your elbow's already out there. Watch on step two. The ball actually starts coming down and back on step two. Instead of going out. Look at the size of the step difference. Right? And you didn't think about that. That happened no. by on its own. Feet right to the swing. Well, if your swing is coming backward already, why would your step have to go forward? It doesn't have to. Okay? Look at the gap between your body and the ball in the two pictures. We need that ball to get away from you to have momentum for it to swing. Okay? Now, let's go to the one on the right. We'll get the ball below your shoulder. And it's literally at the bottom of your shoulder. <laughs> This one here, look, it's going around that ball. Right toward the back of your leg at the end of the step. That's good. That's good. Now, imagine if your arm was straight on the picture to the right. That ball would be way here, and that's not the right position. Right. Okay. So it's like you were working hard with your upper arm, but the ball wasn't moving. It's weird, huh? Okay. Watch on step four. This is when the ball should have motion going up in the back screen. Watch your ball on step four. It goes up a few inches, but it never goes back. And then right at the very end, it goes back one an inch. Watch this. Has some good motion here. Okay. Not bad. And that was the first one we refilmed. Okay. Big difference from the original one. Okay. Look at your upper arm. Imagine if your arm were straight, you'd have a well overhead high backswing. You don't really need that. Again, you were working hard with your upper arm, but the ball wasn't moving. Okay. At the finish, foot stops, ball comes through. It's the same timing over here. Foot stops, ball comes through. Now, the follow through wasn't quite as good because your body was still kind of getting used to what we were doing to it. Okay. Now, let's go back to this one on the left and get you to that backswing again. Well, then we did another one. And these are five minutes apart. The only difference on the one to the right now is I said, smooth out on two, relax, let the backswing do whatever it wants. Arm doesn't care. And again, we have a nice smooth push away on two. How about the front of the side? The ball waist high. Comes down to the swing, just past your leg. Ah, there's the backswing. Look at that line of blue lights in the background where the ball is yeah. on the two shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's within five minutes of convincing your muscles to do less. <laughs> That's a big difference. And now if we compare that to your original shot on step four. So right here I got the back toe just touch on it both. Wow, that's a pretty big difference, isn't it? I'd say. <laughs> Again, when the ball never gets away from your body, it has no momentum to swing. Your push right and left, the ball didn't leave your body, and your back swing, the ball didn't leave your body. Right. Had no momentum. You had to do all the work. At the finish on the left, foot stops, ball comes through. Finish on the right, foot stops, ball comes through. <laughs> There's weight off the back foot already. You're not even thinking about that. It's much, really much better. Thing. Okay. Watch when we play these two shots together in slow motion. And these are both the same length clip. So you on the left starts walking before you on the right. They're going to end up at the same time. Look at the difference in the push away and the swing. It's completely different. And even here you think they're never going to end up the same. Watch at the finish. 
Pretty close, huh? You're actually letting the ball swing. You're not making it do anything. Make requires work. Let doesn't. Just let it go, baby. Yep. Easier said than done. But you can see the benefit of video. If we didn't have video, your body would not be buying into this. Because your body thinks, like, that just feels too weird. Okay? But even after the first one, you saw it's like, wow, that's a lot better. And the second one was even better than the first one. And that's important because, yeah, your muscles are still going to question you, like, what are you doing to me? Okay? But when you look at this swing, I mean, you know enough of a bone to know this is a way better motion. Nice and free at the finish. Okay? You're going to end up having more power with less work. Okay? And you can see in the picture the ball string in your arm. You're not doing the work. Watch your original shot again. This was you doing all the work. That looks like a lot of work now, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And when that hard of work is a habit, you don't know how hard you're working until you feel something different like this. That's pretty good. Okay. All right, everything makes sense? Yeah. Good. Be aware of the tape in the ball. You're going to have to add more tape than you had before. Because you're not squeezing as hard. Okay? So if you're dropping it, just add more tape. Right, yeah. Simple as that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. All right, let's stop the disc here.